India has just demonstrated a marvelous achievement up in space. The Indian Space Research Organization has for the very first time showcased space docking capabilities. This makes India only the fourth to enter the elite club of nations that can do this, the United States, Russia and China. So what is space docking, why is it important and what does it mean for India's space ambitions? This is Shubhangi Sharma for CNN News 18, let's dive in. On Thursday, Chaser and Target shook hands in space. I'm talking about two twin 220kg satellites sent into space by ISRO on the 30th of December last year. In any other case, two satellites touching each other in orbit would spell absolute disaster and destruction, but not when they are docking successfully. And this is what ISRO has achieved. You see, moving in a low Earth orbit, Chaser and Target did the unthinkable. They made contact. Not only that, but the two satellites, while moving in orbit, came together to form one integral body. But firstly, why does docking matter? Docking is essential if you're thinking of putting a man or woman in space, building a homegrown space station and planning longer interplanetary space travel. Domestically developed docking technology will play a vital role in achieving India's ambitious space goals, including sending an Indian astronaut to the moon, building a homegrown space station and retrieving lunar samples. This technology will enable the transfer of materials between satellites or spacecraft, such as payloads, lunar samples, or even eventually humans in space. India is aiming for the launch of its first crewed space mission, Gaganyaan, in the coming years, with the goal of landing an astronaut on the moon by 2040, an achievement so far accomplished only by the United States. Moreover, India plans to establish its own space station, the Bharatiya Antariksh Station, by 2035. Other goals include launching its first orbital mission to Venus in 2028 and retrieving lunar samples through the Chandrayaan program in 2027. Docking capabilities will help turn all of this and more into reality. Now here's how docking works. Chaser maneuvers to dock while target stays stationary in orbit. The active spacecraft adjusts its orbit to match the target's trajectory. This involves multiple burns which are needed to adjust speed and direction and reduce the distance with the target. As they get closer, sensors, cameras and guidance systems are used to ensure proper alignment. Any wrong move and you have disaster in your hands. Very slowly, the chaser makes the final approach and once they're aligned, the docking ports do a soft capture using hooks or magnets. Once these are done, the hard docking begins with latches or clamps to form a seal. Now you have two bodies turned to one and material can be moved between the two. The SPADEX mission is exactly this with the chaser and target satellites launched by a PSLV rocket into a 470 km circular orbit at 55 degree inclination. The PSLV's precision created a small velocity difference at separation, allowing the target to drift 10 to 20 kilometers from the chaser within a day. Using its propulsion system, the target halted the drift, aligning its orbit and velocity with the chaser while maintaining a 20 kilometer separation. The chaser then progressively closed the gap, reducing the distance to 5 kilometers, 1.5 kilometers, 500 meters, 225 meters, 15 meters, and finally 3 meters before docking the target. The historic achievement came just days after ISRO successfully conducted a trial docking attempt on January 12th, bringing the two spacecraft within 3 meters of each other before returning them to a safe distance. In a post on X, ISRO explained the docking process, which began with a maneuver to bring the spacecraft from a 15 meter separation to a 3 meter hole point. Precision docking followed, culminating in the successful capture of the spacecraft. Let me quote a statement by ISRO. Retraction was completed smoothly, followed by rigidization for stability. Docking successfully accomplished. After successful docking, there will be a power transfer demonstration in the days to come. Then the two satellites will undock to begin their independent payload operations for the expected mission life of up to two years. This process was not easy and the docking was postponed at least three times. Initially scheduled for the 7th of January, ISRO took its time, cautiously and meticulously, to ensure that everything goes right. 
the suspense was building up until the good news came finally. Prime Minister Modi congratulated ISRO and the entire space fraternity for the successful demonstration of space docking of satellites. He called it a significant stepping stone for India's ambitious space missions in the future. It is indeed a major milestone for India's space journey and showcases just how advanced ISRO has come to be on its own. This fast-paced technological progress is a marker of India's growth trajectory and its growing ambitions. It's an important moment in history that will pave the way for many more successes for India in the future.